Hello and welcome to a new episode of Bahraini Dishes Cooking Show. My name is Chef Ali Youssef and today I'm going to cook for you. Guess what? There's no guess, there's no bet. It's going to be figata dal, uh, which is under the rice, going to be a lentil. Um, I know something interesting. Um, in that case, you need to watch it and know how to make it. I've got here boiling water, almost in there. I've got lentils soaked in water, washed really good. So is what uh, the rice, and I have little of water here, maybe a half, half liter. And then I got coriander, and I got dill, and I got salt, I got chopped uh, red onions and garlic. I'll tell you what to do with the garlic later. And then I have tomato, chopped tomato, chopped capsicum, chopped chili, and cubed uh, potatoes and whole spices. And of course, oil in here. First of all, add oil into the water for our rice. It can be four to five uh, tablespoons of oil, and then followed by uh, the whole spices. We've got black pepper, cinnamon, black pepper, I'm sorry, that was lemon, black lemon, black pepper, cloves, cardamom, and star, and bay leaves. Also, it needs uh, salt. We're going to add the salt. Everything is there. Everything um, ready. I'm going to add the rice into that water because it's almost boiling. And we need to cook it at least three fourth cook, not fully cooked. Because it's going to be in another pot uh, for another 20 minutes, more or less. See how clean the rice is. Um, it's so crystal clear in there. While the rice is happening there, I'm gonna mix things here together. Then we'll get back to it later. Uh, starting off with uh, onion, uh, first the garlic. I'm gonna mash the garlic here. And the onion, I'm gonna put it in here. Mash the garlic. Garlic smashed here. And then we have um, capsicum chopped all in there. Then uh, we've got dill. Put a nice uh, handful, put it in there, followed by tomatoes. Then uh, chilies. And we're going to mix them all together by adding also salt and cumin powder. Just half spoon. We'll mix it. You can use your hand and you can use a spoon as well or whatever makes you happy. I'm going to cover this for at least 15 minutes. Same time the rice will get ready. From there, we'll take it to the next step. See you in 15 minutes. Welcome back and our rice is ready. As you see it, let's drain it off and then we, we do the rest of the ingredients. As I said, we don't fully cook it. It's just uh, three quarters and should be ready in there because it's gonna be here as well, so. 
we put that heat on. And then oil. Hmm, this is smells good. Now, um, this is different way of uh, cooking now, because I'm not gonna put the onion on that. First, I'm going to put the uh, potatoes. We're just going to fry it a little bit. And then we're going to add the mix that I have done here. The gata dal, which is, uh, is going to be under the rice lentil, uh, which is very vegetarian uh, dish. Uh, could be for everyone, actually, not only vegetarian people, but this is an option for vegetarians. Um, it contains no, no meat at all. And uh, it's very light and you can have it uh, any time of the day or any time of the year as well. Um, now the potatoes are fried a little bit. Uh, we're not going to make it fully cooked, just a little bit. Now, going to add the mix here. Let's mix all, all together. Now we're going to add a lentil in there. Uh, actually, before that, I'm going to put uh, the spices first. Turmeric, one tablespoon. and paprika, tablespoon, black pepper, and cumin powder, tablespoon, and finally Bahrain Ibza, One tablespoon. We mix it. And if you're at home, you can take your sweet time to make it, actually. It will, in a very low heat uh, stove, so you can get all the flavors out of the vegetables that you have in the pot. Now I'm going to reduce a little bit of the heat and then I'm going to add the lentil without the water. It's been soaked for at least three hours and so it shouldn't take a lot of time to cook it. Don't, don't have to put the whole thing. As you see, need, need room for the rice. I'm gonna cover it for a little bit. Not fully covered, need a little bit of the steam to come out. And uh, um, just a little bit. Then I'm getting the rice ready here. Before I add rice, I need to add a little bit of salt because the salt is in a, in a, enough in, in the lentils. Because lentils, I just put them now. Now I'm going to add salt here. 
a little bit of salt for the lentil that because we didn't put earlier. We're going to mix it and put it back on a high heat until it starts sizzling again. Um, now I'm going to add water. Remember, not a lot of water because everything is almost um, cooked. Now I have covered everything with water. Make sure everything's covered. And it's on high heat. We'll leave it now and kind of put the rice on top of it. Remember your rice is already, has also uh, spices. Now we're just going to get a little bit in ground so everything lev leveled. Now I close it and I put it in a low Heat for 40 minutes and then it should be ready. Make sure it's in a low heat or else it's going to be burned all the way from the bottom. Okay, we'll leave it for 40 minutes, we'll get back to you. Welcome back and our figata dal, it's ready. Smell it, smells good. Now, cause it's dal, it's gonna be a mess. Uh, I mean, it's a lentil and it's gonna be a mess if you dig in. Same is with the uh, fish, uh, figata semek. Also, we just flip it, even chicken or with any uh, other uh, uh, masli or figata. It's it's better way to flip it. Easy to flip it. Put it, hold it. Make sure you flip it really quickly, not slowly. If you do it slowly, it's gonna be a mess all around the kitchen. So you do it quickly, and there you go. Hit it right, left. Ready to remove it, and then you remove it. Let's spread it on the uh, tray. You got, got to shake it only. And there you go. And here, we got the dal is ready. Just gonna garnish it with a little of uh, coriander. And there you go. Our dish is totally done. It was very quick and easy to make. I hope you enjoyed the uh, recipes and I hope you like it. Welcome back, now we're done with our main course and now we're going to make a side dish which is going to make rangina. Rangina is a um, very traditional and old dessert in Bahrain actually, served with Arabic coffee as we call it gahwa.
Now let's put the heat on here. The only time it takes is with uh, browning the flour here um, by using um, butter or ghee. Um, it depends what, what you exactly like. So not to burn the ghee or the butter, you need to add a little bit of uh, uh, oil. Now you're done there. Now we're going to heat it a little bit and we're going to add the flour slowly, slowly. We're going to mix it in a medium heat actually and because we don't want to burn it. We don't want to burn the flour. That's the only time it takes doing it is only this. We lower the heat. Should done very slowly and carefully. Until you have it really thick. Not very thick, be careful. <laughs> but we need it to become brown brownish and that's the true color of it. Now I can see the proper uh, texture of it but we need the color now. We will just keep stirring it and if you stop it's gonna burn. So keep stirring it until it gets brown. And this is not the color you want. To decorate this uh, rangina, uh, we've got nuts here. I've got pistachio and I've got shredded uh, almond and shredded pistachio actually. And also uh, the base is based with um, dates. And these dates I have removed the seeds. And also you can use the frost uh, dates. Um, or you can use this date, or you can use the other dates. Uh, the smoother gets, the smooth, uh, salt gets, the better gets. Now we almost got the color, as you see here. Now it's goldish, a little bit more. As I say, I keep staring it all the time, non-stop. Because the minute you stop, it gets burn from the bottom then you don't want to burn it as i said if you burn it then you can taste the burns uh, on your rangina and that's not how it tastes like it's uh, gonna taste different you might say oh the recipe was wrong no it's not it's just um, once you've been told the recipe you should follow it step by step this dish is highly recommended for breakfast and during the holy, holy month it is perfect for tea time. You have your gahwa, you will have your uh, tea. Um, so it's in the morning, if it's not Ramadan, then you can do it also and have it with you after breakfast time, you know. Uh, make sure you go to work. Doesn't mean you sit home for rangina only. We almost reach our uh, perfect color that I'm looking for. Uh, it could be darker than this if you want to, no problem. But me, I'd rather a color like this. Uh, to me, sounds perfect. And in a bit, um, I'm just um, gonna put it in um, the plating, and I'm gonna show you how to plate it. Is because it's also something different. Um, not to me, actually, it's something different to you, might be, um, of plating. Now, simply, I'm going to place the dates in the bottom. And just to remind you that the dates should be seedless. And I have taken the seed off. Now, we have the mix here. Now we're going to pour it over the dates. And 
I'm going to garnish it. As you see, it's still cooking actually. That was it, our rangina. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the recipe and the ingredients. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you really one day thought about it and make it at home. Thank you for watching and goodbye.